Come on, fellas. We must stop, little car! Yeah! Help! Incoming! Do you know what that was? That was a recreation of a competitive clip featuring a very brave Pyro and the reality of how quickly an Uber Demo Man can cut the enemy team in half. With that lucky sticky kill on the scout and the quick switch to grenades, I'm able to blow up three players and leave a fourth one fending for his life. Make no mistake, Demo Man is really powerful. Throw some sticky bombs over here and toss some pipe grenades over there and before you know it, boom! Skadoosh! Blue team, gone. But sit down a new player as Mr. Only Has Projectiles and you better be prepared to cover your ears. Uh, go to hell! The learning process for Demo Man looks something like this. Spamming stickies with no sense of timing while relegating the grenade launcher to, uh, you know, emergencies. Oh, shit! I'm out of stickies! And the strategy can work to an extent because, let's be honest, having eight explosives loaded in one gun is kind of ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. Uh, uh guys? Do the Geneva Convention supply to video games? But hold on, stickies can't be detonated for 0.7 seconds after shooting them, so don't be surprised if sticky spamming gets you killed by every other scout. I don't usually kill morons this fast. Soldier. Scotland is not a real country. Sniper. <laughs> and spy. Spy! Indeed, you drunken wretch. Uh, you are an embarrassment. Uh, and so is the godforsaken squad. So sticky spamming isn't perfect. Do we give up? No, we just do it better. As long as you stay about this far away from the action, at this point where your stickies travel the entire length of their arm time, you should be free to go on a rampage. That will teach him! It just makes everything so much easier. This distance puts you in control and ensures that you'll never have to do anything difficult ever again. Oh, oh man! You suck! Yeah, at some point you're gonna have to learn more than sticky spamming, but don't worry, there's a reason these things are designed to stick. Man's ability to control when stickies explode provides perhaps the most consistent source of kills in the entire game, the Sticky Trap. Not only can you consistently lock down a choke point with a sticky bomb launcher, you can then reload the damn thing and be ready to pick apart the pack of panicked perpetrators after the fact. Get on, bloody dead. Stop that! But there's more to it than just dumping stickies on choke points. You can store a bunch of damage anywhere. Hey, Red Team, that was a great Uber charge. Can't wait to see the next one. Exert a little patience. If you find some unsuspecting snipers, lay down two stickies at once so they can't even respond to the detonation. And if a medic so happens to walk into them, that's an epic sticky trap. Put some distance between you and those cheeky scouts with just one sticky. Just one sticky. Wait, does this count as a sticky trap? Does that mean is Every sticky bomb its own trap? You've seen it, haven't you? The power within each sticky bomb? 
Yes, yes, I see! Every sticky I shoot guards the entire radius around it! The very idea of a trap is subjective! Good! Now that you see the power of every undetonated sticky, you have opened your third eye! Uh, uh, second eye. I get it now! That's the beauty of manual detonation! If I stay calm and don't detonate, it doesn't matter that these stickies were meant for this spy. They're the perfect trap for this rocket jumping soldier I was totally expecting. <laughs> stickies haven't missed until you detonate them. No choke point, no problem. With enough stickies and enough patience, the entire world becomes uh, one big choke point. Stop it! All this sticky trapping seems almost too good, right? But with how vulnerable... <laughs> All this sticky trapping seems almost too good, right? Uh, I'm talking here! All this sticky trapping seems almost too good, right? But, uh, okay, now there are two of them! What kind of sick joke is this? <sighs> Is, is it safe? Can I- Keep it is, up! Oh, uh, all this sticky trapping seems almost too good, right? But with how comically vulnerable he is to being bum-rushed, I think it's fine to reward Demo Man for seeing it coming. We've been expecting you! Mission ends. That's what you get! Of course, sticky traps don't detonate themselves. No, Scout, That's you scared all. me into detonating too early! Ah! A good sticky trap demands your full attention. I in other words, Demo Man is designed to have tunnel vision. Ah! Ah! I'm the wrong fucking time. That's right, the class with one eye has tunnel vision. Deep lore. It's not matter when I'm setting up an important trap in the heat of the moment, it's not realistic for me to turn around between each sticky and reset my crosshair. In other words, if I'm gonna get stabbed, mother of mercy, I'm gonna get stabbed. Ah, but forget the spies and snipers for a minute, the last thing you want is to become your own worst enemy. I mean, okay, I don't know if it's just me, but after growing emotionally attached to some carefully laid sticky trap that will surely get a triple kill and make daddy proud, I struggle to pay attention to anything else as I play with one hand behind my back for 40 seconds getting nothing done until I finally say fuck it and randomly detonate, somehow killing a horribly unfortunate spy. You appear to have thrown it on the mind! <laughs> I am the spy. But perhaps the most harrowing downside is that when it comes time to push forward, you may be given a choice. <gasps> no! I can't detonate here! Not now! I'll die for sure! But my team! But I deserve to live! If I die! If I die! No! 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 <laughs> I let them down. I can't keep relying on this thing, man! Sure, it's consistent, but it's so slow! What if I need damage now? If death stares me in the face? If my targets are launched? There's only one thing to rely on then. I live for pipe grenades. The thrill of trusting your instincts and saying, I don't care that you have a medic because I'm just going to hit three pipes in a row, all right? See you later. Goodbye. The power I feel melting one heavy after the other, granting them the power of flight while accidentally killing those around them. And the rush of knowing that the only way I'm getting out alive is two clean pipes. Hitting two pipes on scouts ain't easy, but it always kills, even if they're overhealed. Denied! No. No, 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 no. That medic did not just perfectly tie my healing crossbow bolt in between my two pipes. He did not! Hello, yeah, police, I'd like to report a robbery! To guarantee the second pipe, do your best to shoot the first one at their feet. It'll pop him right up for an easy twofer. 
Okay, Heavy, are you sure you want to play this game? This doesn't tend to work out for you. Oh dear, it appears I have underestimated my opponent's critical thinking skills while simultaneously overestimating my body's ability to effectively move around corners. I should take note for the future not to chase explosive wielding enemies around said corners as they naturally have a sizable advantage due to not requiring a direct line of sight to deal bodily harm. It certainly does not help that I am at my most sluggish while revving up my gun, a precursor to shooting aforementioned gun and therefore killing my enemy. Oh shit! Shooting for the feet can be a gamble, but when it works, oh, oh it works. Cause baby, you don't Landing pipes will always feel amazing because you can't take a single one of them for granted. You never know when even that scoped in sniper is just gonna get up and move. Ah, the yo, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking, I missed on purpose. It's a joke, I'm friendly. Oh. Hitting pipes is often the difference between living and dying, and almost every time it comes down to intuition. Own you, you eat shit! When you're in the kind of fast-paced situation that calls for pipes, there's no time to ask yourself questions about air strafing or hitboxes. <laughs> it's pure intuition. Extends that intuition to your sticky bombs, and it won't be long until you're landing one two punches like it's nothing. But how does one access all of this intuition? My best advice is to equip the Sticky Jumper, a no damage launcher that allows you to do incredible triple mid air jumps, forcing yourself into the enemy base so that you can get in as much practice as possible. <laughs> Pipes are great. I like pipes. I love pipes. So that you can get in as much practice as possible. <laughs> Remember that pipes are best aimed at large, unmissable groups, so keep an eye out and. Uh, uh, huh. Large, unmissable groups, so keep an eye out for those good opportunities. Uh, and, and never underestimate the element of surprise. That's right, that's right. It's my job to destroy these sentries and these sentries and these sentries and God, am I, am I, am I seeing okay or is that a lot of engineers? I mean, that's a lot of engineers. I, bye, <laughs> see ya. Uh, the, the thing that I can't fucking get. All right, and listen, because this is, this is serious. These close up sentries that don't serve any purpose other than just catching people off guard. You're not even defending anything. You're just, you know, the, scra the scout walks by. He goes, hey, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm playing the game. I'm having fun. And then, pff, brrr, pff. That's not fair. But engineers aren't going to stop building these things until people stop walking into them. All right. So please, I'm begging you to just check your corners and never let these engineers get away with this. A look both ways before you cross! Oh. Okay, mate. All right, you wankers. Sentry out! Oh my god, dang it, no! This isn't even defending anything! This sentry is just mean, alright? I will make sure that you suffer for this. But beyond, but more, but. I'll go even further. 
further, you know what? I don't want to be too mean, but you engineers have to know how dead you are. Duck. How much a demo man can just take control? I feel bad for what? this guy. Honestly, I'm sorry. Give this engineer. <laughs> this isn't necessarily your fault, but I've got to send a message. Oh, no, 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 no. This engineer has the dispenser, teleporter, all the setup. I can't have that. I'm sorry, engineer, but this is the end for you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's like. That's that's the one. That's fucking engineers, man. They don't have a chance. What if you thought that was sad? Just wait to hear about the dispensers. These holy, these holy, del these holy deliverers of healing and ammo. It's so easy for Demo Man to turn them into death traps. I mean, I almost feel bad. They go to this, back to this place that is supposed to be safe and give the heals, but no, I, I'm sorry. It's just. But what really rubs the salt in the wounds is that d d dispensers don't move. So, <laughs> let me explain. The uh, grenade, the pipes. The, the, the downside of the pipes, the grenade launcher, is that uh, it's hard to hit moving targets, right? But dispensers don't move! And not only that, everybody likes to be around dispensers! So you shoot the dispensers and whoa! What a surprise! Everybody dies! It's almost poetic. But no matter how you twist it, I'm gonna always be there, engineers! I'm gonna make your life as hard as I can. You can run, you can hide, you can try to save your buildings, but I'll be there. I don't care if you have the high ground, it doesn't matter to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, uh, Mission accomplished. This, this engineer's team actually cares about him and his positioning and his base, and that's gonna be a problem. Woo, I'm gonna need a medic, and to talk about that, I'm gonna need some coffee. Stop! <clears throat> so, yes, Demo Man can trounce sentries all day long, but sometimes he needs help, and sometimes our German friend is not in the mood to cooperate. If we can get to Fault Uber, I will destroy all sentries and more. No, huh? Hold it! Ugh. Then how else do you expect to get through multiple sentry nests? Oh, please, I assure you the jury is waiting with bated breath to hear it. I am putting all of you negligent medics on trial. Just watch. I yell out, medic, to get his attention. You know, we're starting it simple. I then say, hit it, doc, and charge it, doc. He looks me in the eyes after I say this. He keeps his beam on me and keeps looking at me. According to page 14, section four, subsection three of TF2 etiquette, this officially means we have bonded, which according to subsection three, means he has to Uber me. I then cannot stress enough that he kept his beam on me, unbroken for the entirety of the remaining 16 seconds. Then, and can we get the footage on this for the, for the jury to see? Thank you. In direct response to me taking my first steps into danger, disconnected his beam, leaving me for dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I was baited! <laughs> he ubered the heavy, who could not even leave spawn. The heavy dies immediately! Why, medic? Why? I can be fighting the entire enemy front line with a fully charged crits medic behind me, only to turn around and see. Th I understand Ubering a heavy on the objective, but I swear half of these guys are just trying to reenact meet the medic. 
What are you doing? I have no idea. The Uber's already over. Oh my god. In all seriousness, Demo does need a little help in most altercations, since he's not exactly meant to be taking them. Uh, uh, anyone? Anyone at all? Please, God, help to turn around! This is a real freaking embarrassment. Yeah, I know. Demo Man is an absurdly powerful damage dealer, but if someone wants him dead, it's not that hard to find an opening. <laughs> I say this because I want you to remember that Demo does have some shortcomings as I proudly display this ridiculous clip of me defending the last two feet of payload by safely stuffing an uber charge with preemptive stickies, insta-killing a crits heavy, then destroying a sentry along with the engineer building it before going ahead to accidentally kill someone, intentionally kill someone, and finally out-snipe a sniper. God, I love this class. So get out there and lay some traps. Hit some pipes, but most of all, make sure someone out there regrets picking Engineer. Screw you. I'm gonna go play and craft. Put your butt into it, lad! Sir, yes, sir! You're doing good, lad! Affirmative! Right here! Yes! Nice. That wasn't supposed to happen. <sighs> what? Looks like y'all could use. <laughs> well, a little help. Oh God, my head is killing me. Help! Nah. Please. <laughs> I guess that'll do. <sighs> Thanks. That's ah, nothing. Oh, hello, engineer. I love you, man. Hey guys, once again, there's more. Within a few weeks of uploading this, I'll have a behind the scenes extras video uploaded with all sorts of bonus clips. This video is not sponsored, but I have rolled out a Teespring storefront featuring their highest quality t-shirts and sweatshirts. I wear these all the time and I swear they're really comfortable. Anyways, that's enough from me. If the bonus video is ready, it'll be right here. Thank you so much to every patron that patiently made this video possible. That includes Zeki, Afdox, Aerosky, Filth, Dr. Manhattan Project, Happy Purple, Canation, Waffle, Vey, Cory Sen, Isabel, It's Katie, King Matting, Libernox, Max Gross Handler, Page of Mirth, Rick D, Stock Canadian, The One True Goblin, and Three.